Hi, welcome to today's devotional. You know what, let me ask you a question. How many of us can have an attitude sometimes? It seems easy, right? Things trigger us into attitudes. Sometimes they trigger us, it's not just us. Uh, hunger can trigger that hangry attitude. Uh, in general, there's words that are said or actions that are made that can trigger negative attitudes. And, and actually people think of the word attitude and they think instantly a bad attitude. But we can have a positive attitude too. How refreshing is it to encounter someone with a, a helpful attitude or an optimistic attitude? Now this is Thanksgiving week, the end of, towards the end of Thanksgiving week. Let's have an attitude of gratitude. That's our title for today. Our verse for today is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 to 18. And it, they read, Always be joyful, never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Yeah, those verses seem like huge challenges, right? Always be joyful. Unfortunately, we can't be like Winnie the Pooh, uh, the character Tigger in Winnie the Pooh, where he's bouncing, bouncing, um, prouncing and all whatever song he sings about always being joyful. Um, everyone will think that some, something weird's going on with you. But we, we have help in, in being joyful because joy is a fruit of the Spirit. The next one is never stop praying. Are we not to do anything but pray? No, we have work to do. We have schoolwork, we have housework, we have work work. But we can pray short prayers whenever we can. And when we realize that we need the Lord in, in every situation of our lives, it, it's not hard to pray short prayers throughout the day. So this brings us to our attitude of gratitude. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Be thankful in all circumstances. And in all, so in all circumstances, it's like something that you do all the time is done habitually, probably. So is there something that you do all the time? Maybe you say something all the time. Um, you're kind of known for that saying. Um, I know sometimes when I'm looking for my glasses, for example, I, and, and, or it, it could be anything, anything, and I can be alone. I'll still say this. When I finally find the glasses uh, that were on my head, I, I say, oh, there you are, Peter. I quote uh, Peter Pan the movie, um, from the, the movie Peter Pan. I always say that, oh, there you are, Peter, regardless of what it is. So I know that there's uh, uh, some folks here at church that... Um, when something weird happens or, or when um, it's like a, oh my gosh, really? That kind of situation. Or even like finding your glasses on your head. We always say like, ooke la, ooke la. We all, there's a lot of us that say ooke la. It's a, it's a habit. It's a habit. Now, now back to attitude of gratitude. Gratitude will be our habit when trusting in God is our habit. If we develop that habit of trusting God, especially in trials that we go through, we'll thank Him both for His salvation and for the opportunity to see him work on our behalf and work in that time of need, right? So what else can we be grateful for? When we see the wonderful works of the Lord, when we see his hand move in the world, when we, when we can see how he draws us close to him and he never leaves us, when we see all his promises are yes and amen, we should be filled with an attitude of gratitude for who He is, how much He loves us, all that He's done for us, and the plans He has for us because it's far better than we can ever hope or imagine. What can you give Him thanks for today? Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you, Lord God. I, I thank you for who you are, Lord. I'm grateful that you have mercy on us, undeserved, you have mercy on us. I am grateful that you love every one of us and, and there's no favorites, Lord. I thank you, God, and I'm so grateful to you for, for your love. Oh, there's just so much to be grateful for, Lord, that you're always, you're always there. You're always available to hear us, to answer us, Lord God. I thank you and I'm, I'm so grateful that your, your timing is always perfect always always perfect it might not be our timing when we think we need it but you know when what what is best for us lord i i pray that we just continue to trust you 
and look to you, Lord, in all things, in every situation. I, I thank you for those who are watching, Lord God. I pray that you be with their families. I pray that you be with them, Lord God. I pray that you keep them safe, Lord. I pray that they experience something awesome that you that you do, that maybe you use them for something or, 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 or someone uh, uh, obeys something that you have for them, that they do a task that you assign to somebody else to bless them. Whatever it is, Lord God, something awesome that they can give you all the honor and the glory that you deserve, Lord God, and share that experience with others so others may come to know you. I pray that you just keep these families safe, Lord. Again, provide whatever it is that they need, Lord God, and, and just let them feel your presence, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hi, thanks for watching our devotional today. Tomorrow is Saturday, and tomorrow is when we prepare our church for service on Sunday. And there's also a few projects that are happening here um, on, on campus. So if you'd like to help, we'd, we would love to have you here. Um, we meet at 10 o'clock, and well, we're done about noon, noon, noon time. I almost said noon o'clock, but we're, we're done about noon. If you'd like to help out, we'd love to see you here. God bless you.